Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and in this video I'm going to be doing my weekly Hobonichi Cousin Draw With Me for the week of February 13th through the 19th, 2023. So I'm still currently drawing uh, these doodles weekly in my Hobonichi. I am also continuing to journal in the Hobonichi Cousin exclusively. So I've been uh, using it for a daily journal and it's still working out very well for me. So we're just gonna continue to do it <laughs> until I decide that I can't stand it anymore. Um, I have been struggling a little bit the past few days with trying to keep the pages looking a little more on the full side. So I have tried additional types of fonts, um, additional little doodles in the daily pages just to kind of keep it a little full. But um, I've learned to kind of forgive myself if it's a little empty because if we're gonna be honest, not every day is gonna be like really noteworthy. <laughs> some days are just gonna be kind of blah, and some days there isn't gonna be a lot of things going on. Um, I have adopted something called the 4G method, and it's where you kind of focus on four Gs, which is gratitude, goal, good, and the glitch. So the glitch obviously being something that maybe didn't go well that day, the goal being something that I would like to work on, the good would be something good for that day. And of course, gratitude something that I'm thankful for. So that really does kind of help me keep my pages a little bit full, but, um, and I have found it to be pretty useful as far as kind of thinking of different things throughout my day when I feel like they may have been a little slow. <laughs> this week I chose chickens as of a theme. I did, thought it would be kind of fun. And I think recently I have been thinking more and more about going and moving out to the country. I think I've mentioned that before where I want like a legion of cats or something. <laughs> but um, I told him, I kind of warned my husband, I was like, you know, maybe we'll have some cows. I don't know the first thing about, you know, raising cows or chickens or anything, but it doesn't mean that I couldn't learn. And I thought about that and I was like, you know, we should get a couple of chickens, you know, egg prices right now, you know? <laughs> I can definitely say that when it came to our food bill the past few months, I could agree that, you know, chickens would have been helpful. So I was like, wow, um, we could think about having a little plot of land with some chickens and some cows. Not that I really want to eat the cows either. I think that they would just be really cute to have. Some of them are kind of fluffy and fun and I have heard that their personalities can be pretty unique as well. <laughs> so I am feeling a little under the weather today. So I apologize if this video is a little on the short side. I'm not quite at 100%. It's not anything like COVID or the flu or anything. It's just seasonal allergies that come in. Texas is weird. Everybody suffers from allergies. <laughs> There's always something blowing in the wind, whatever. But I um, haven't been really feeling 100% today. So I've been kind of putting this video off, hence why it is a little late this week. So I apologize. And hopefully I'll be back to my usual self next week and, you know, working on content like I usually do. So I just want to kind of touch base on some of the supplies that I've used today. A lot of the markers that you see in the video are from, uh, a lot of the markers that you see in the video today are the Tombow dual tip brush pens, uh, various different colors. I'm also using a Tombow monoline drawing pen for some of my outline work. My favorite pen of course is still a Zebra Sarasa clip in 0.38. I still use those throughout all of my Hobonichis or any type of Tomoe River paper. Some of the other colors that I'm using as well is from the uh, Mild Liners pack. I believe those are the neutral pack. So a few of them, you may notice a few of them here and there. I also used a white Uniball Signa pen for any of the white detail work that you may see on some of the drawings. I think that's gonna be it as far as the supplies that I've used. Um, there wasn't a whole bunch of things that I used differently from the last week or anything like that. I tend to keep it pretty simple. And I will do a quick flip through of the final drawings before I go today. Just clean up any of the pencil line drawings that I have left over. <laughs> Maybe add a few little details here and there. Overall, I'm kind of pretty happy with the little drawings. I thought they were really cute and they're really fun. So as always, you know, these are not meant to be super serious or super detailed. They're just meant to be fun. I think in my weekly spread for my B6 Common Planner, I may actually draw a more detailed little chicken, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, be sure to check that video out probably tomorrow. I think that's when it'll go up if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you would like to follow me on social media, I'll place those links down below as well, as well as any affiliate links for any of the products that I used today during this drawing. 
again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate your time. And if you would like to subscribe and haven't already done so, be sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you get notified when I do post something new. So I will catch you on the next one, guys, and enjoy the final flip through. See you later.